This is Community Async number 29, Open Map Compass Small Key Shuffle. We got Pool Float and Samishin up on the restream. I'll be doing some comms here um, with my pal Garf P. Good old Garf P, who is currently taking a piss. I'm sure they'll be back any minute now. Um, well, let's get started. Let's just begin. I'm going to be tracking for Sam because Sam has a weird tracker for some reason that I can't use on my on my stream. It's fine. I am I already forgive them. It's okay. But we're just going to hop right into this. So, it's an open mode. As you can tell, we don't have to do the escape sequence. It is a uh, map compass shuffle, which means that those items can be anywhere in the game, uh, as long as they're not, like, logically unavailable or some shenanigans. Uh, the, the big takeaway from that is more so that the big keys are going to be uh, in their vanilla dungeons, which could force our players into certain scenarios where they uh, have to spend extra time or find extra items to be, to be able to get find, to find the big keys. Specifically, the one I, that always comes to mind is uh, if the TR big ends up being vanilla, then we need all four TR smalls to actually beat that dungeon. Um, we have two separate routes going on here, both maps at both of our starting locations. Pupla went towards the castle and finds some free bombs while Sam struggles to farm two bombs off of the 50-50 bushes south of the flute spot. But does get some finally. Sees 300 bucks on the library. No booties, so can't get them. Is this what we're are we, is this two who music? Is that what this is? I gave it like a very brief listen to before we started, but. Um, got a cape here in Kakariko. Pull flow going for tier one tree pull a second time, wanting even more magic. And we got 10 arrows off of the bush crabs. Oh, Sam, I'm gonna go for the chicken. Ah. Me, yes. I didn't catch what was that lumberjack or what was that chicken hood. <laughs> I looked away. Um, I saw Pool Float shaking his head, so I'm guessing there's something useful at the at the lumberjack. That was a glove at lumberjack. Okay, we got a fairy bottle here in the Lost Woods. Well, you know what? That's not a bad thing. Because, yes, it does force you to have to beat Agatar at some point, but I... Ooh, nice moon pearl. I would much... Ooh, nice moons. All right. I wonder if Sam's going to go back and get that 300. I would much rather just, like, know that Agatar is 100% required than the potential of maybe being required, but not certain. Like, especially in this mode, if you see, like, a small key up there, and then it's like, ah, it's probably nothing, but it could be, like, the swamp small key, or, uh, you know, desert small key, and then desert big keys on right side, stuff like that. So this is not a, it's not a bad problem, especially with early boots now. Alright, let's see what else we can find here in Kakari. The map of desert. It's our third map we've seen so far. Also, uh, this audio level a little bit better. We got a small key to Mire. I turned it down a little bit more. Let me know if that's good. Map to Swamp. I'm gonna turn down even more. Another map. <laughs> so many maps. That one's not as useful. Two Who music does get pretty, pretty in your face pretty quickly. I I would I would assume Sam's gotta have that 300 bucks in on his mind. Want to go back down there and grab that at some point, but maybe not just yet. Gonna get bullied by some guards first. Oh, 
I feel like the only time I ever listen to Tuhu music is if I'm playing, uh... I think if I'm playing, like, a Mario ROM hack or something. Or I'm watching a Mario ROM hack stream. I know they tend to show up a lot in Mario 64 ROM hacks. Like, all the time. So... Curious to see where our runners are going to go to after this. Um, still don't have, like, a true weapon. I would assume Sam would follow this down to Bonk Rocks. And double confirm. Yeah, that is, in fact, a glove. I can't believe chat didn't lie to me. Oh, yeah, we'll see what's on... Okay, just just a hard container on Sick Kids, so Sam's not going to get bullied by that yet. Yet. Right now, Sam was getting bullied by the Lumberjack men. Here, have some magic. Here you go. Ugh, bird. Yeah, Poofload's gonna get the 300. All right, what do we got in the bound routes? Just a heart piece. This is interesting. So far, we've just got a small key to Meyer. That's that's it. That's the only small keys we've seen. Was well, Sam gonna double back over to go get that 300 bucks? Looks like it. Yeah. Maybe check sick kid too. Sam clearly heard me. Oh, I, uh, I gotta go to sick. Gotta go to sick kid. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Hmm. Going to the refill room. Okay. Gonna stock up on some more bombs. Not a bad idea. Just trying to get enough bombs to, to do Mini Modern Cave, I would presume. It's actually pretty smart. I'd even go in and get another two. But will Sam get the 300 rupees? Oh, we got our second small key. House of Darkness. And no money for Sam. All right. That is strange to me. <laughs> Unless this is like a hula hand. Nope, save and quit. Okay. Sam, I don't know what you're doing. You're hard to predict. You're just making it up as you go. Another small key here at the flooded spot. We got our first castle tower key, which is one that we will need. Yeah, we'll we see. Be curious to see how Pool Float hand, handles this. He's going to have to. He basically has one bomb per Moldorm. But if he's lucky, he can get a double kill with one of them. So far, not a great start. And, uh, yeah, that's when you... <laughs> I mean, I... Oh. <laughs> well, never mind. That bomb just said no. I gotta assume he's hoping he can get, like, a bomb drop off of one of these guys, but... Nope. Definitely feel like you gotta just cut your losses. So 90% chance I saw a library wasn't progression, just removed it from my brain forever. Oh yeah, that's possible. That's definitely possible. Alright. Let's see how Sam favors with 10 bombs as opposed to... Or 9 bombs as opposed to 5. Going a lot better. And some good luck over here. All right, let's see what Pool Float momentarily missed out on. 20 bucks, a mushroom, a 20 bucks, a small key to Castle Tower. There they are. There's both of them. Okay, well, we just need a fire source and a sword. Specifically a lamp, logically a lamp. A fire rod would work, but the game wants a lamp. I 
I'm curious to see if that does end up being our first, uh, first glove. I mean, well, yeah, obviously it's going to be, but here could be another one. There's her lamp and our mirror and our sword. Oh my gosh. What a weird scene. We did also see Desert was our green pendant, so that's good info. I'm going to leave it unmarked on Sam's side. But, uh, all right. So, Pool Cloak can now go to Mini Mulder and Cave, get his second Castle Tower key, and then we're good to go. Head on up to Castle Tower. Sam going to set up the water walk here? It looks like it. Yeah, I, that was a, that was a nutty, the, the Castle Tower care package brought to you by Sahasrala. I like the water walk idea. Could even go for a double water walk. But that's okay. 20 bucks on the island. Let's see what we got going on underneath the bridge. But. 20 bucks. Yeah, Sam, if you had just remembered the Library 300 and also Houlihan, you would have had Zora money already. It's just that easy. Like, oh, I'm just thinking. I mean... The way you routed it, though. Because you went back for Sick Kid. You go back for Sick Kid. You get your bomb farm. You get your 300. Okay, no, that wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have worked. The routing wouldn't have worked. Oh, you almost got shot in the ass. Pool Float is going to skip the front of Hyrule Castle and just go straight to Aga Tower. We got 10 arrows and 20 bucks. At the waterfall. Not going to peek out on the, the Zora ledge item, that's fine. I will say, this is kind of a rough loadout for an Aga Tower climb, all things considered. Get that heart. Get that heart. I say I'm actually doing Hulahan now. What is this route? What is the plan here? Hmm. This this seed is a couple weeks old, so I'm sure people uh, people probably don't remember much about it. All right, nothing in Castle Tower, but I'm gonna go ahead and obviously clear this out to get that glove at Lumberjack. And Sam is heading up to the castle. Which, unfortunately, is the wrong play. The secret is I never know what I'm doing. Well, it's keeping me entertained, so... It'd be kind of boring if both runners did the exact same thing for the entire the entire length of the, of the seed. It's a lot more fun when you have two players doing complete opposite stuff, and then they still end up being, like, a minute apart from each other at the end. Are we going to see some bomb escape here from Sam? Oh, nice. Bombs was the... Yes, that'd be tier two, probably. Yeah. So, you know, full magic was our tier one. I'm kind of shocked at the Hyrule Castle play, to be honest, because in my head, with that cape and Castle Tower Smalls, I would be doing everything before going to the castle just to try and find what I need to actually full clear it and maybe do castle tower. That'd be on my head, on my brain. Now, if Sam could, like, snag another sword or something along this path, or even, like, the hammer, 
Something that would help make climbing Castle Tower easier. That'd be really nice. That'd be a really nice change. We'll just see Pool Float is entering the Aga one fight. I wonder how many blue balls we're going to have today. Boy, this is a song. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and turn that one down a little bit. Looks like one blue ball. Song sounds like dying animals. <laughs> Why does it sound like that? Uh Not only two blue balls so far? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Wow, very nice Aga one. MCS question mark. Yes, it is a abbreviation for the type of dungeon items that are shuffled into the general item pool. Which are the maps, the compasses, and the small keys. Okay, nothing of value down here. We got another map here on the pyramid. So, basically... <laughs> nice. Nice Hyrule Castle map. It's Key Sanity Light. It's Key Sanity, but without the big key shuffled. Sam, where's Sam going now? Oh, are you gonna go turn in that mushroom? Okay. I... I would expect if you were gonna do that to just take the Whirlpool fake flipper south of Link's house, but it almost looked like Sam didn't know what he wanted to do yet. Or, like, changed his mind. <gasps> there it is! Here's the other sword. Wow, all right. That was a good find. So Sam's gonna have a little bit easier of a time climbing up Castle Tower. That's just one of those strange things about Agassi. It's just, I feel like even, even though you have the cape and a sword, I feel like the game still wants to give you a second sword. Hopeful picks up that glove. As uh, still limited Dark World access without a hammer or another glove, so all we can really do is well, we can go up the mountain with the mirror, dip into Hera, do some stuff up there, check the back of Escape, or we can go to Pod, Green Panic Desert. Sam using a bomb despite having the boots. <laughs> Gets a lamp. Gets a mirror. Gets a Master Sword. Back of escape's gonna hold a blue mail. 50 bucks. And a hook shot. Oh, well, you definitely going up the mountain instead of going to pod. So the whirlpools are in the light world. The one south of Link's house takes you to the whirlpool right next to the witch's potion shop. Um, and then there's also the whirlpool outside Ice Rod Cave. That takes you to, like, one tile west of Bonk Rocks. And then, of course, there's the one south of Ice Palace that takes you to um, the Zora area. The ones in the Dark World are a little different. And they're just... There's just one Whirlpool in the Dark World that takes you from Dark Potion to Dark Ice Rock Cave. Right? Oh, wow. Hopefully, it's still going to Pod? Despite having dark East Death Mountain access. Ooh, nice pod small here. That's a really interesting choice from Pool Float. Huh. I mean, he does have... He's only got one pod small, too. Hm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. Let's see how it pays out. Because, I mean, we can go up the mountain, you can save the old man, Spectacle... Cave, Spectacle Rock, whatever you can get in Tower of Hera. You can technically beat Tower of Hera because of Hera Pot. Um, and then you have all of Paradox Cave, Spiral Cave. Good chance you'll probably find another glove over there, too. 
Oh, Sam, I gotta teach you the the the, the doorbell uh the doorbell technique for this first room with Master Sword. Makes that room very easy. Basically, once you enter that room, just stay at the yeah, just stay at the door. And then they'll come to you, and then you can just charge a spin at him, and you'll get a double hit. Um, we did get our pod big in the very first chest of pods, so that's nice. Okay, I need to watch Pool Float's side, because we're getting new content now. Oh, okay. No, that's fair. On one hand, I know these are meant to be, you know, for some, it's meant to be a kind of competitive. I mean, it's always competitive if you have a timer, right? So I just want to, like, throw out ideas of uh, where I think you can save time. Not always knowing if you know how, what you know, how to do it or what I'm talking about. We're getting a little bit of mimic clipping. Pulpo is trying to do this buffer list, but not really getting it. He's just moving down block. You can tell it's not working because the mimic is obviously not moving to the left. Oh, there we go. You can see for one frame that the mimic turns. Aw, oh, Pulpo throws in the towel. Good attempt, good effort. And then going into Eastern. See, this is such an interesting choice. Especially with Big Key... Well, like, especially for Eastern. Like, you just need to find a bow. And you can full clear this dungeon. I definitely would have expected a mountain uh, dip. So, curious to see what we're going to find up there. Pool Float apparently picked up a book somewhere. That might have been in here or Pod. May might have just picked it up. These items, they show up so fast. Need to have that thing from uh, Mystic Quest where your latest item you picked up shows up on your screen in the bottom right. Where like your, your partner's weapon is. It's pretty helpful. I kind of wouldn't mind having one of those, like, latest item lists that you see on certain rando trackers, like the La Milana one has one. Cool Dude's Z2 rando tracker kind of has one. It's not always accurate. Sometimes... I think with that tracker, I need to change something, so I'm, like, marking whether I have something versus whether I know where something is. What else we got? Quick and easy Agatha. I'll be curious to see what Sam does here. I, because I, I'm a little curious because Full Flow. Um. Got the map and then immediately on the pyramid, and then immediately saved and quit. Went and got the glove, and then came back into the dark world anyway. Let's see what Sam does. Get your Hyrule Castle map. <laughs> you deserve it. You've earned this. There's a compass. Alright, save and quit. We'll flow. Where are we going? Oh yeah, you gotta remember to mirror before you save quit, otherwise you go back on top of the ca on the pyramid. Alright, we're going up to Catfish. Sam's gonna go get that glove. Oh, 
Oh, nope, that's not Catfish. That's Graveyard Ledge and King's Tomb. I don't actually remember if Coolpo did uh, Bomb Procs either. Alright, love for Sam. Where to next? I think it's so easy just to immediately go up the mountain after this. Because you're passing by the, the entrance. We got powder here in King's Tomb. Pretty nice find. So this is really not a not like I actually really like this route idea. I mean, even despite the fact that we know that the hookshot is in the back of escape, like you go up, you do all the stuff here. Except it's going to feel a little bad when you go into Hera and then you get the hookshot and you're like, oh, do I go back to Hera and just like Hera pot and beat it? Going to lose a little bit of time. There. You go up here, you do this, you save and quit, you start at Sang. Then you go do back of escape. You get your hookshot and you go right back on the mountain. First time up the mountain. Curious to see what we'll find. Show me the goodies. I'm also hoping when and if Cool Flow does go to Catfish, if he mirrors and turns in Mushroom. And also, yeah, you don't... I was talking about not having more Dark World access, but that Hookshot gives us this West Dark World access. I didn't think about that. I didn't even think about that as Pool Float is doing it. Spooky music. Okay. Skull Woods for Pool Float. Sam's gonna dip into Tara Para for. Yeah, I mean, you could get the big key and actually be able to beat this dungeon. That is possible. Look at that shield! Goodbye! <laughs> 300 bucks in Skull Woods. Ether Medallion. Interesting. Alright, will Sam go do Back of Escape? Looks like it. Alright. And then I would assume would head right back up the mountain. Ether's interesting. We don't have all of our dungeon info, but... Ether can also be just a good way to deal with large groups of enemies that you're trying to get rid of. Get off of me! Ain't a burna here in Skull Woods. Sam's gonna pick up a hookshot and a blue mail and a 50 bucks. Almost enough for Zora. Back up the mountain. There's our big key and skull. Curious to see what's gonna be. If like Bo is on East Death Mountain. Bo Hammer. TR Small here in Pinball Room. And one last check before we're out of Skull Woods. See Pool Flow trying to go for a lineup. I I guess he's hmm. If you have a sword, like the best and easiest way to, to line up for a bomb jump is to do that thing where you charge your sword and then you release it while you're like mid-falling into the hole and but hold the opposite direction. I remember, before people even knew that was a thing you could do, how much worse bomb jumps were. Especially in, like, Tower of Hera. It's just like, oh, you gotta do this double bomb lineup setup thingy. Alright, piece of heart. Red boomerang. Anything else over here? Green of bucks. Half magic, that's really nice. Flippers. Okay. 
quite the items Sam is probably looking for, but probably not complaining. Small key. Ooh, second TR small. That's good. It's good if we're going to need all four. We might. We don't know. Got on floating island. Oh, Bombos is chilling up there. There's the Thieves Town big. I think we got a couple more items left. Hey, while we're at it, just want to remind everyone that uh, I wouldn't be able to do these restreams if members from my community didn't play the seeds. So let's just give a big old shout out to Full Float and Sam. Uh, if you want to support them any way you want to, you can hover on down to the title of the stream, and I have. Links to both of their channels, their their Twitch channels, if you wanted to support them over there. I'm sure they'd appreciate it, but also ask, what are you doing? <laughs> I think we had, like, five people play this seed. It's not... MCS, I, I think, is just not a very popular mode for people, I think. I think most people would rather just play Key Sanity than this one, but... It is kind of nice having some sense of familiarity, you know, knowing when you go into a dungeon that if you have the other pieces, that there's a good chance that you can beat it. My favorite scenario would be, like, going into Ganon's Tower without Samaria, and then think he's on Samaria's side, so you gotta go hunt down a can of Samaria to actually beat the game. It's always a good one. It's always a good experience. People love that. Cool Cool picks up a map for Thieves Town, and it is a pendant, so this dungeon is a little less important. Catfish is gonna have what for us? This two of music's giving you the good feels? Well, I'm glad. Alright, got a thousand bucks for Zora. Maybe we can offer him a full 1k and he'll give us something better than whatever he's got for us. Come on. What you got, buddy? So, uh, over here on blind side, we have a small key to TR. Ooh. Okay, swamp small. Aw, oh, man. This is the perfect setup. <gasps> Dude, this is the perfect setup for Specky Clip. Dude, I have not actually seen a scenario like this. You can do the hammer skip and swap and go beat it. It's nutty. Also, crazy enough, on uh, Pool Flow's side, we got our third TR small. So that's a generally enough small keys to beat TR unless the big key ends up being vanilla. Which is always funny. For a viewer. Not for the player. Player's like, come on. I, I just let me leave. Just let me out of here. Alright, nice blind fight. Five bucks and a pendant. Okay, Sam was looking like he was heading towards Pod. We got Red Crystal Swamp. Crystal Mire and Crystal TR look like. Alrighty. I'm gonna need all the goodies for this one. Yeah, that Swamp Small off Azor was a good find. Ooh, hammer! 
Thieves. <laughs> it's okay, pool float. You didn't have the Thieves Town small, so you couldn't have gotten the big chest anyway. But that hammer is a nice find. I, I, I would be very happy to see that, knowing that I don't have to dive stupid dungeons looking for it. But yeah, based on the items that we've seen so far, it looks like maybe something's going to be in Swamp. Could always get the classic mitts on left side Swamp. That's a, that's a, that's a favorite, right? I have a feeling at this point we're probably just going to do this full, uh, counterclockwise loop. Another pod small. Sam with a mirror bonk. Whoopsie doodle. see a little little bit of replay from uh, on Sam's side of doing stuff Pool Float already did. Which is fine. I'll just be curious to see how they handle Skull Woods. Still has that, that sword advantage over Pool Float. Which, you know, can be helpful. I'm thinking maybe we gotta go into a swamp soon based on what we're seeing here, but who knows? Maybe there's just a glove and hype cave and we can go full full can go full clear all of Death Mountain. Ooh, there's a pod map, so more dungeon info. We already know where two of our pendants are. It's just a matter of finding out where the last one is. got going on now we still have stone no we already saw stone beat we got hype cave and i wonder i would assume pool foot would pop in and see what the other red crystal is or see what both red crystals are because he doesn't have that info we know swamp is one what's the other one ah pause the other one all righty Oh yeah, Pulpo. See, this is unfortunate because Pulpo does have that book, but doesn't have a sword upgrade, so probably doesn't want to go to Bombo's tablet just for a check, just for info. Maybe Hype Cave will have another sword. We got a map to Hera, some bombs, the fire rod, and a small key to ice. All right. Well, that is a beatable Skull Woods. A bad thing. So what? What's the plan? The nice thing about also having that hammer is that Pool Flow doesn't have to go across the broken bridge again. Song has like just very slight Llama Lana vibes to it for me. Ooh, here we go. All right, Pool Flow. Don't forget to mirror and turn in that mushroom. This is the best chance to do it. Thank you. Even sets up for the, the quick mirror bomb. Good, good, good. So this will be a sword for full float. And he's gonna be like, ah, I could have had this so early. I could have had this for Castle Tower. <laughs> But even then, you'd still be happy to pick one up. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of stuff to do, so all signs to me are pointing to Swamp Palace. It's gotta be where the goods are. I mean, Spike Cave could have something. We do have glove hammer, bottle, 
half magic, cape, burna. Collectively. TR small. So far, so good. Players are doing really well. I wonder what their thoughts were on the seed at this point. I wonder what's going through their mind. Let's see this blind fight here for uh, for Sam. <laughs> Wear hammer. Give hammer. Sam, you don't need to use that cape. You don't need to use it. You got plenty of health. Okay. No, that's fine. You know, if you got the tools, you just, you might as well use them. Oh, this is my favorite Tifu song. Turn that shit up. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're hammer. No, mate, that was from Link to the Past. Tier small number two. Third one was in Skull Woods, in Pinball Room, in fact. Wolf we'll finally heading up the mountain, which. I mean, we didn't really see too much up there. We got flippers and half magic and ether. We're gonna add this from an SMZ3 MSU pack, and I guess that doesn't have the dungeon item fanfare or something. Ah. Fair enough. I don't even remember what number that is in the MSU pack, to be honest. It's okay, I know I've used Embassy packs that just suddenly you hear vanilla music. I'm like, oh, oh okay, that's fine. <laughs> really pod number three? I guess so. Full flow, zoom. Get to see a little bit more of Tara Para on full float side. Probably gonna hair. I would assume a hair pot would, would would show up here. Does also have dungeon info for Hera. Oh yeah, and Ether table. Sam hasn't been to Pod or Eastern, so this could be big for full float. Heart piece. Sam, this is a pretty interesting digging pattern you got going on here. Hey, if it works, it works. Okay, that shield was a weird color for both players. That's strange. I can fast round, dude. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, nice. Very nice hair pot there. Cool flow. Hold on. Just a quick in and out. Alright, so we know the big key's in the basement. But we don't have the hair small. We do pick up another pond small. And this is our last pendant. Okay. So that is all of our dungeon info. We know exactly what all we need to beat this seed. Well... For the most part. You know, Pulpo could absolutely go do desert with that book. And Pulpet. Now that I think about it. That is a possibility.
if the big key isn't on the right side. That's the big thing. Fire rod for Sam and a small key to ice. And we're definitely going into ice or into swamp palace now. Hopefully, gets revenge on Moldorn after taking a wee dip. Rewarded with another pen. What's up, Sean? Keep forgetting that these are a thing to do. Yeah, it's okay. I could just add everyone. Uh, again. <laughs> They're there. If people want to play them, they can. I'm always welcome to more people trying these. Because I'm always happy to have more new faces on the streams. Not that I'm super upset about having these lovely faces on my restream. But as as it always as as it always is, the more the merrier. Ooh, first chest, big key to swamp. There it is. This sounds fun. Yeah, and for those that uh, are unaware, the uh, the next async is already live, has been live for a bit. There's the, of course, there's the mitts, just like I predicted. Except I said left side swamps, so this one is much nicer. Uh, the current async right now is, is a mystery entrance. It's a mystery mode with forced entrance shuffle, forced frost entrance shuffle, like your basic frost keys. Um, it's a little bit on the nicer side, so... You're not likely to get a Ped Seed or Triforce on or Swordless or like Chaos Enemizer or stuff like that. And if you want to try it out, you just got to hop on over in the Discord. Oh, there's Link! Woohoo! Scroll down to the Brew Crew Async uh, forum channel. You can find links to the chat rooms for each of the Asyncs as well as the chat room itself, which has a pinned. Um, link to the spreadsheet that has all the information about the asyncs. So. If you want to play them, we'll play them. You can play them whenever you want. You can submit your times if you want. If you stream it or not, you can submit that. It's all up to you. I'm trying to get this, like, second win. Because, uh... I've been kind of slacking on, on getting these restreams up and running. So my brain was like, all right, acing 30, I'll just play it myself. But then after that, no more restreams, but who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind. Ooh, we're going to get a spike cave check. All right, what are we going to get? <gasps> This. Dude, Spike Cave never has anything when you check it early. It's always when you last locate it that it has something required. The game just knows. It's just, it's smart like that. Well, with these mitts in hand, what could we do? I would... Well, we can go do Ice Palace. Just couldn't do Icebreaker. That's not a big deal. Um, otherwise, you go do Dark Death Mountain. I don't know, I would, I'd be tempted to hold off a Dark Death Mountain hoping for uh, Samaria to show up so that maybe you can go into TR? No Ice Rod, though. It's kind of interesting on Sam's side, because Sam's using a, a, a tracker that has none of the dungeon stuff on it. It kind of reminds me of watching Mekon st uh, stream and play Link to the Past Randomizer back in the day when Mekon had like six items. It was a six item tracker. It had like the medallions and then a couple other things. It was like the medallions, the boots, the flippers, the moon pearl, and the gloves, and that was it. And I, just, just to clarify, Sam, I wasn't complaining about it. I'm just saying it's a. It's a, it's a weird shape that I can't put it on the restream, so. Which is fine. I don't mind having to do a little bit of tracking. It doesn't bug me one beat. 
Don't you WJB think at me. Alright, there's the mitts for full float. Honestly, I think you just go straight to ice after this. You say heck to Icebreaker and just go do it. It's a crystal dungeon. It's beatable. We have a small key as well. That is one of the emo tracker ones? Interesting. I mean, it, you do what's comfortable for you. I'm, you don't have to change for me, man. Don't worry about it. If, uh... If you just want an item tracker, I always recommend uh, Pug HUD Futon's version. It's very good. That's what I use for everything. It's what you're seeing on screen right here on the right side. I don't know which one Pool, uh, pool Float's using. A bee! A Bart! A Bart piece! this. Alright. Alright, Argus. What you got for us? I'm just gonna go ahead and mark all these, even though at this point in Sam's game, they haven't gotten this information, but more so just so I don't forget to do it. Can't believe there wasn't a sword and swamp. What a ripoff. What a ripoff. A joke. Sat on. <laughs> Ooh, oh, okay. That's actually kind of a kind of a big deal. Okay. Hmm. That would actually kind of. Well, I don't know. It'd be kind of good to go to my area and at least see if you need that Bombos medallion. Sam's gonna run back and go check that. We're gonna see a diver down here on Pool Float side. Nicely done. Ooh, very scary. Does get a very clutch refill though. So now we have a few options. We can go clear Ice Palace. We can go do Dark Death Mountain. I mean, Sam, you might as well just do Smith while you're here, yeah? Actually, this works out really well. Okay, go activate Flute. You go turn in Smith, and then you Purple Chest. Then you Garf P. It's perfect. It's genius. Alright, pull float. I wanna see these double hook spins. Nah. Hook double slash. Alright, fine. Fine, whatever, man. Oh, I guess we can't get purple chests. No, we have mints. What am I talking about? Never mind. Ignore me, I'm doomed. I'm one of them there goofy goobers. Sam doing some big thinking. I looked away for one second. When I come back, Sam's just standing there looking at some rocks. Ooh, there's some nice rocks. Loot for pool float and a crystal. 
first crystal, I think. Ooh, for health. Okay, I think... Yeah, alright. I wasn't sure at first, but it does look like Sam is using that bilateral filter on the game. That kind of makes it look... Like, the pixels are blended together. Gives it kind of a cel-shaded look a little bit. <gasps> Vanilla sword. Wham! What a nice find. It's really great. Man, heckin' nothing off of a... Uh, either tablet. Forget. Sam did already. Yeah, the Ice Palace Mall was on uh, Magic Bat. Small key to Skull Wizards. Well, it's not the worst thing. Sam could actually go beat Skull Wizards right now. I feel like that wouldn't be a bad call, honestly. Okay, there's the dungeon info for the Light World. I wonder if Pool Float will follow close behind. See if we have the medallion for Meyer or if we need that Bombos off a of floating island or a mysterious quake. Unbeknownst. Oh, it is Ether. That Ether from Tower of Hera. There's no way there's going to be another community async with Samaria in Meyer. There's no way. There's just no way. I refuse to believe it's going to happen again. That's happened like at least three times out of the the 29 or so A6. There's just no way. Not happening. Oh, this is interesting. There was a bow there the whole time? Oh my gosh. Okay, wow. Pull, uh, Sam has options. So Sam could technically go beat Pod Eastern. Pod would require skipping some stuff, but it's doable. Eastern's full clearable. Skullwoods is full clearable. There's a shovel. Uh, Ice pa Palace is full clearable. Right now, we just need... Um, Samaria, Ice Rod. Sam needs to get a TR small out of Skull Woods. Uh, we don't have any GT smalls, which is kind of sketch, depending on how deep that GT big is in there. And it looks like uh, the... Desert Big is going to be locked on right side, so. You know, you could steal the small key. But then what? You get a big key and two items and then nothing else? Probably not worth it. Dude, watch this be desert. Oh, this one's going to be desert. Desert! Third, oh my gosh, Sam just got three Skullwood Smalls in a row. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Ah, the classic 57 minute Agonis Cave. Chorus. Chorus! When else would you do that? It looks like Waterfall Fairy is dropping gold bees. Full Float says 9. And it's probably going to go buy a potion? Nope. Head to the Meyer area. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. So right now, the big difference between these two runners is that Full Float has done most of Skull Woods, all of Eastern Mize the boss, and a little bit of Pod. Well... Sam has done what Pool Float's doing right now. Plus Smith Chain. That's pretty much it. Now, Sam is going to get to do Skull Woods in one go now, as well as Eastern, so we'll get to catch up, make a little bit of time there. But where, oh where, is our pain of Samaria? We may never know. <laughs> Whee! Don't matter, you have all the small keys. I don't know if Sam meant to do that, but it's it's okay. This will be the third TR small. Oh, 
Coolful picks up that bow off a desert ledge. Gonna go grab the shovel in here. This will be that TR small sham. Nice. Happy one hour mark. Yahoo. This is going pretty well. Both both runners an hour in have one crystal. There's Canaburna. that was. It's like Sam doesn't know this. Doesn't do the bomb jump, either. For how many times y'all have seen me do it? How do you not... How do you not do it? It's like second nature. It's okay. I know it's a thing that exists. True. And then, yeah, you can just hook shot to the statues down there instead of walking around here. It's easy. I'll bring up the practice hack and show you how to do it. Though my new favorite way of setting up bomb jumps is doing the hammer dash into the into the pit, into the edge of the pit, and then quick turning around. That one's hilarious. I love that. So glad someone showed me how to do that, because it is it has come up a lot more often than I would like. <laughs> Alright. Time for some moth. Ooh, I, I like this. The use of the ether just to clear out this room. Probably not really necessary with half magic and fire rod. But sometimes you just gotta dunk on some mummies. I can get behind that. Now Sam's gonna have a little bit easier of a time having this tempered sword off of Smith. Wonder if when Cool Float checks the Smith. No, half magic fire out once again will make this fight really easy. As long as you actually let him get away from the walls. Oh, even that one where he got hit into the spikes looked like it still counted. Small key two. Odd. I'm actually dunk. If you're on the restream, you are willingly subjecting yourself to me being semi-critical of every move you make, so just letting you know. I do it because I want you to succeed, not because I'm being a dingus, I promise. I'm not being a big meanie, but I could. <laughs> yeah, every move you make, every breath you take. It's not creepy at all, without context. Sam? <laughs> really nailing it with that spin. Maximum health on the ped. Ped's dead. For those who don't know, a tempered sword spin attack is equivalent to a gold sword slash, which is equivalent to a spike in damage, and therefore does not work on Mothula. So make sure if you ever see someone spinning a Tempered Sword at Mothula to point and laugh. And go, ha ha. Ha ha ha. Alright. What the hell was that? Sam, did you get a Discord message? <laughs> that was weird. It just sounded weird. Like, I'm like... I know that wasn't on my end, because I'm not... 
have any of those Discord notifications on. Anyway. Pulpo and Ice, Sam is heading to Pot Easter. No, you're good. It's fine. My PS3 controller is loose and disconnects sometimes. If it sounds like my PS4 controller. No, it's fine. At least you didn't, like, sneak in a random message of, like, racial slurs or something. That would have been much worse. I'm sorry, Doomir. Monkey. So yeah, Sam does have a beatable pot Eastern. Um, pod Big Key was free. It's literally in the first chest. It just has to skip a couple stuff in Pod. Like the vanilla Big Key chest in Harmless Hellway. As for pool float, going in Ice Palace. Nice hair, uh, Ice Palace bomb jump. A classic. OG classic trick. Full float shaking his head at that one. A little early on the hook shot to try and avoid the gold, the, the big dumb spike. Oh, it's my favorite room. It's ham lift. Yes. Good luck to the runners. I hope their their playthrough was very fun. Ooh, silvers. Easy silvers in Ice Palace. still doesn't have another sword. But half magic fire rod will make cold steer pretty pretty easy. GT small. I think my PS4 controller is using mini USB. What is USB C or yeah? USB C is that like the kind of weird like oval shaped plug? while mini USB is more like a trapezoid. <laughs> is that the right? Is that what I'm thinking of? Switch one is that's oval. Okay. I just, man, I wish I could get my computer to recognize my pro controller, because I would use that for, like, everything, because that's... That's still probably my favorite controller. Like, favorite modern controller. But I still use my shoddy PS4 controller. Is this really gonna come down? This is gonna come down in an ice rod hunt, ain't it? It's gonna be... Alright. First we gotta dip Meyer to get our Samaria, and then ice rod's gonna be like... Laser brief. Now let's see this cold stair fight. Master sword, half magic. Ooh, gotta be, uh, uh, gotta be careful. Oh my gosh, pull, pull, please. It would be really unfortunate for pull, pull. Pool float to take a death seemingly because he did have a fairy in a bottle but got rid of it for uh to see what the waterfall fairy had and then got bees in exchange nicely done all right survive the cold stare it's the thief town small first 
as Sam finishes off Eastern Palace, finding only some buckaroos on the boss. Okay, now I'm very curious to see how Sam routes Palace of Darkness. First chest, big key. We're gonna get to see a lot more of Pod that we didn't see on Pulpo's side. Pulpo only did the first, like, two things. Yeah, I would almost, like, just rush Helma. <laughs> Maybe. Having four out of six, well, you know what? Having four out of six means you can get everything in here minus Harmless Hellway and Vanilla Binky Chest if you don't hammer jump. I don't think Sam will hammer jump. Pool Float probably will. Hammer jump hard. Hammer jump can be pretty tricky. I still have my Wii U Pro Controller, but like the analog on it is like all gummy. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh, that was weird. There's that though. Which feels kind of bad to find out because it's like, I really don't want to go check Either tablet's fine, because Sam could go back up and finish uh, Hera if Sam knows to Hera pop. But either way, you can check that on the way to doing, like, Dark Death Mountain. But Bombo's tablet, that is very much isolated. You do know that one? Okay. Hera pot's pretty easy, so everyone should know it. Nice knowledge of resources here in Pod. Well done. Hey, what are we gonna find in the back of Pod? Look at that! After an hour and 12 minutes, our runners are almost in the exact same room. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh-oh, Sam in trouble. <laughs> GT small. That's our second one. There's Quake. So, no matter what, we can get into TR once we have the, the tools necessary. Once we have Samari. What I'm saying is we don't have to worry about medallions. Oh, th there's Kane of Samaria. Oh... I wonder if Sam's gonna check this. Oh, okay. Sam is doing a good job avoiding opening up the front door and doing both sides several times just so he can get as many items out of here as possible. So that's good. I was a little worried. That would have been a really rough one to miss. Full Float having a little bit of trouble with this hammer jump. It can be tricky. <laughs> Sam's having a little trouble with this dark maze. It can be tricky. Anything else in here? More arrows. Uh, nice. Red mail. A little high five from our runners. Okay, I, this does kind of make sense to just backtrack rather than going both sides a, a third time. I honestly don't remember the last time I didn't hammer jump a pod, but I could. 
Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is probably fast enough. I'm not sure why you keep resetting the room. I think mu just muscle memory there. Because you reset the room if you want to jump across, but the hard hat beetles are in the way, but that was not the case. Okay, this is exciting. So, we have a beatable mine. It is literally an ice rod hunt, depending on where the TR Big... or the TR Big Key hunt. If TR Big Key is vanilla, or ice rods in TR Big Chest, or Big Key... Ugh. What I'm saying is, as long as TR isn't a ding-dong about it, we might just be on a nice red line. Okay, nice Samaria find. I was not expecting it to be there. It makes me wonder where the other pot smalls are, because I feel like that chest probably requires five or six pod smalls. So, maybe the game wanted you to dip Meyer to get pod smalls to go back to Meyer. Alright. Here's Helma. It's like Full Float setting up the uh, spin speed to get the easier hammer hits. Which is also good. For, well, no, you'd probably just swap over, use silvers to take them out. Sam's going for the other strat of just keeping the sword out the con uh, constantly. There's a helmet down for pool float. That does also unlock pyramid parry. It's a shield! Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Nicely done! to next. Sam, how do you feel about Icebreaker? Is that one you, you're comfy with? Because that would make for a pretty quick Ice Palace. Like we're going Meyer first. <laughs> nice. Tried learning it before an ASIG once thought this is easy. Then wasted five minutes trying to do it when I actually got there. Dude, the pressure of being in a like the pressure versus practice compared to in the run. Very different. <laughs> Whee! All right, Sam. Well, then, how is your Ice Palace bomb jump? Because in this day and age, you got to know at least one of those two. Silver arrows to take down the Armos Knights. Cold Pull kind of just cruising at this point. Still needs to find that Ice Rod. We do still have Dark Death Mountain. Cold Pull also would probably like a sword too. Small key to Turtle Rock. Oh, that is such a nice thing to find knowing that you can full clear TR once you get there and have Ice Rod. You don't have to worry about getting locked out of the big key in lava. So this seed was nice. I didn't make a stinker. Now I see if I'm an Ice Rod. Yeah, I guess at this point, Pull Float really just has Smith Chain or Mountain. T 
TR. Well, no, yeah, I guess he could have gone into Mire. That's kind of interesting he didn't go to Mire. What else are we going to get here in this Misery Mire? <laughs> I love it on my end because I'm watching just their straight up VODs and when people have their webcams on, I can see their expressions when they get items or when, when they mess up tricks or when they do something cool. It's funny seeing Pool Float shake his head when he missed that trick in uh, Super Bunny. Ooh, bug net! Ooh, a dollar! Shot cave. Wolf will gonna check to see if he needs that bomb boost or not. Survey says yes. Now just need ice rod. Ice rod is the only thing we need. Where's that ice rod? Where is it? It's gonna be like back in like freaking Thieves Town big chest. There's our fifth pod small here in Hookshot Cave. So that's where the game wanted you to go. Come on, you go to Hookshot Cave. Then come back and finish pod. Or do more of pod. Ooh, Sam. Still has that fairy, I think. Uh I think it's from. To who? Same with the music. I don't know anything about any of that, but. Cyrano, thank you. All right, nothing else here in Mire. Go we'll take on Viddy. Red Mail is a different one. Oh, interesting. I'm supposed to know everything? Well, they didn't teach this in college. <laughs> it's not my fault. I didn't take any anime studies. I took film. I know some anime. And some... Well, I guess calling Tuhu anime is not correct. <laughs> but it is funny. It's close enough, true. There is a two hand anime. Alright, so I'm off the hook. See, I'm not ignorant. nice at this point to give this kind of different approach at this point. I do think, arguably, Meyer is probably the better play. But that's because I would have been afraid going into TR without all the small keys. My favorite anime is The Simpsons. Yeah. Uh. Oh, there's the ice rod. That's a huge find for pool float. I'm gonna laugh though. Where's the big cube? So that's it. We we know where everything is that we need to beat the seed. So all Sam has to do is go beat Ice Palace and then head to TR. Very nice pity fight. Cape plus dashes works pretty well. Okay, and it's not even a lava chest TR, so... I think that actually puts pool float in go mode. 
So, there you go. My favorite live action movie is Pizza Tower. <laughs> I should play that game. The start of the seed was very stressful for me. Why? Because it was like Go Aga point was it because it was pointed at Aga? The seed was silly. You interpreted the title as map compass shuffle. Oh Honestly that's a pretty easy thing to do. You're like MCS, map compass shuffle. It just makes sense. But I I presumed that people had heard of MCS and or played it in the past because it's been in previous tournaments, so I didn't think anything of it. It's like Map Compass Shuffle Shuffle. Yeah. It's purely a me being dumb issue. I don't know. I'm sure you're not the only person. There is... Wasn't there a tournament that had MC Boss? Yeah, because I even had that as a previous async. McBoss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open McBoss. That one was just Map Compass Shuffle, but also Boss Shuffle. I remember now. Nice Fire Shield. So other than having to climb the mountain again, Full Float does get to Go Mode Meyer. The thing for Full Float is, I don't know when he's going to get another sword, because he's not getting the sword off a of smith. So, at this point he's like, probably banking on Laser Bridge or uh, GT. Yeah, it was kind of a silly seed because, like, we saw the glove very early on Lumberjack. So, like, okay, so it's it's an Agaseed. And then we had Cape first. And then basically both Castle Tower Smalls were, like, South Shore. I'm pretty sure. They were they were pretty quick one after another. And then freaking Saha's Closet had Sword and Lamp and the Mirror. B -b 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 <laughs> Woo! Ah, oh, it's Hamlift! My favorite. Well, this is good for Sam, gonna get the silvers. Man, overall seemed like a pretty nice seed. You just had to you just had to dip a TR for Ice Rod in the front. That's not a big deal. Though I could see Sam maybe go for Pyramid Fairy before committing to that. You know, in the end that kinda I was kind of feeling weird about Cool Float's decision to go TR before Meyer. But now that I think about like going there first and Getting the ice rod worked out really well for him. Oh yeah, GT's. In this competition can players see each other's streams? Uh, generally no, because these are all done uh, async. Like people just play them whenever they want, and then submit their times and submit their vods or highlights. Um, people can watch other streams, but that would kind of go against the whole point of this, because it's intended to be treated like a, a race. Ooh, unfortunate death there for Bull Float. Oh, he has a fairy! Alright. Never mind. He good. I guess he must have picked up a fairy with that bug net he picked up. These are very low stakes. And sometimes, oftentimes, I don't even pick the fastest time to be restreamed. I usually pick times that are close together or or interesting 
or when Gilgamesh hovers. That's usually it. Hey, what's up, Anne? What are you cooking for dinner? Tell me. That is the sixth crystal for a full float. Just needs to go back. Very quickly beat Meyer. While Sam still has to go to TR. I I think Sam is in a, a trickier situation because I would presume he'd probably go to Pyramid Fairy first. But at the same time, TR is huge. There's a much better chance of finding what you need in TR. Yeah, but you can't save your portal because you beat a Hega. So it's a, it's a tough, it's a tough, it's a tough call. Nice, very nice cold steer. Bacon for club sandwiches and then homemade potato soup. I'm coming over. I love me homemade potato soup. Oh. I need it to not be like 90 degrees every day so that I can enjoy like some soup or some homemade goods. Some hot stuff. I want chili, damn it. <laughs> some god dang chili. Oh, chili sounds so good. Say I'm gonna stock up. I gotta assume that this is gonna be straight to TR then. You once had to convince your parents that tomato soup was a or potato soup was a real thing. Have your parents never heard of potato before? <laughs> I mean, I could see convincing your parents that aliens aren't real, but to con have to convince them that potato soup is real—that's that's bonkers. I'm gonna hit up Ether Tab real quick before heading into TR. Though we'll probably do all of Dark Death Mountain too. And well, has to get Bombos, so. Despite being down a sword, Hulkloat is going to grab this big key from Meyer Lobby and head straight to Viddy. I want. I don't want to divulge in too much food talk. I want a bread bowl filled with cheddar broccoli soup. Or New England clam chowder. Chowder. I want a Dunkachino right now. <laughs> Cheddar and ham in your homemade potato soup. Nice. I made me a breakfast burrito of ham and eggs and, and, and pepper jack. A little hot sauce. A little tapatio. It's good stuff. And Sam still has a bit of a ways to go here in TR, but we'll be able to go mode all of it, and we'll probably, you know, skip Laser Bridge, skip all that stuff. Skip Mimic Cave, doesn't need to do any of that. Two GT Smalls is enough to find the GT Big Key. You just gotta make sure not to open up the, the Forbidden Door. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Both players fell right there. That's funny. That's a dead Viddy. We're heading into Ganon's town. Heckin' fast from GPs. I 
think the a lot of the time difference between the two runners, I think, is... Um, actually, I don't know. It's hard to say, because some players did... Both these players did stuff in different order that worked out in their favor for the most part. Um, and at moments where I felt like one player's execution propelled them, that same runner would have, like, a couple goofs that sent him backwards, so... It's hard to say. Pretty, 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 uh, pretty close race. If you can call it a race. It's an async. It's not real. It's not real. It can't hurt you. Yeah, pool float. Down a sword, but a full TR ahead. Sam is only a couple, a couple rooms away from getting that ice rod and being in true go mode. Well, I guess technically neither in true go mode until they get their GT big. Yeah, once again, make sure to go click on the title of the stream, click on their names if you want to follow their channels, or catch when them catch them when they're live and just tell them, hey, do whatever you want. You can. The choice is yours. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I'll also have links to their Twitch channels in the comments below. Uh, definitely support them. Thank you to the runners for sub subjecting yourself. To another community async. Ice Rod! Yahoo! I wonder if a sword will show up here in GT for Pool Flow, or if it's gonna be a Master Sword Silver to the end. Did anybody check Shovel? Pupla going Hope Room left side. Ten arrows on the torch. Sam is getting bullied. Leave Sam alone! Nice big key. Now Sam can skip literally everything else. Doesn't even have to steal uh, the pokey key. Since Sam already has all four. What we got here? Plenty of bombs, a small key to admire. Oh, we got the big key. Okay. So no sword. Big key was in uh, Stalfo's room. All right. Quick, quick turnaround. Quick uh, GG. You'll look away for. I mean, that's the thing is with key sanity, there's always a text box for every dungeon item you get, but since these are in their own dungeon, they don't have a text box. So I, I niced them. We I was too busy looking at Sam getting bullied by uh by chain chomps. Let's hope pool float is pr well practiced in this master sword gauntlet and Ganon. Ganon. By the way, today's stream is brought to you by uh, Madrina's. Go get yourself some of their delicious green coffee fueler, some of their delicious cold brews, or try out some of their delicious whole bean coffee. Plenty of flavors to choose from. Uh, you can't go wrong. You will find something on their website that uh, will uh, alert your taste buds. Let them know that they're alive and existing. 
I am currently sipping on some cherry limeade green coffee. And it's definitely my favorite one. Step aside, Peachy Leechy. We got a new favorite in town. Get him. Get him. Get that dinosaur. Get that Dargan. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> miss! 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 <laughs> Heckin' fast round, dude. Cool float having a little bit of a time with these land molas, too. Sometimes you just gotta. Oh, my. <laughs> When you mess up Lamola's too with Silvers and have to switch back to Fire On, and then you just feel like you failed. I failed. I messed up. Those worms are quick. Yeah, make sure if you want to order any of those flavors from the Travel Series, like the, the gooey butter cake, the New York cheesecake, um, Get them while they're hot, because uh, all of those flavors minus one is going to be gone. And if you haven't yet, there is a chance, there is an opportunity on their website. You can go vote for which flavor you want to be a, a staple. So go vote for New York Cheesecake for me, all right? <laughs> Full float, nearing the tip, tippy top of Ganon's Tower as Sam enters the fray. Let's see if we get a similar route on Sam's side. No, don't do that! Don't spite me! What have I done to deserve? This was a fun scene to watch. It's fun watching these two players. They definitely, uh, Surprise me with their routing choices. There were definitely things that I feel like I would have done differently, which makes me kind of wish I'd played the seed myself, but... And then compared. But I also know in my head that... I don't want to play a seed and then do a restream of me playing the seed whilst comparing it. I don't want to walk. I don't want to watch the seed twice, you know what I mean? So... Shout out to everyone that played the seed that is also here watching now. Wolflo getting downed by both Moldorms today. As Sam grabs that big key and is heading upstairs. Oh my god. <laughs> Freaking Moldorms. Sam does not want to scuff up those. Is that character even wearing shoes? So I feel like generally fairies don't wear shoes, do they? It makes me wonder where the, the fourth sword is. Sleepers. I know, right? You're you're kind of you're kind of hovering. I really, part of me wants to see if someone wants to take on, you know, whenever I do the SMZ3s, I always use the Magus Sprite for Link to the Past, and I'd like to see an iteration of that Sprite where Magus is hovering like he does in Chrono Trigger, as opposed to walking like he has seven legs. <laughs> Alright, let's see this Aga 2 fight. So far, so good. I had this crazy idea of, like, the randomizer having, like, a roguelike presets. So you can pick a character, and that character would, like, start with certain attributes, you know, certain amounts of health, certain starting weapons, and stuff like that, and then play the seed that way. It seemed like a cool idea at the time, but I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. 
What would your cursor start with? Um, hourglass. Um, holy water. Auto aim. <laughs> Ooh, Sam, gotta be careful down to two and a half hearts. But gonna bunny this beam. Or anti-bunny. Which uh, is gonna enrage the lamb moles a little bit, but that's okay. Just stand in the middle, get that tempered sword spin. I feel like if you're gonna go for that and you have tempered sword, you might as well wait an extra second and get that spin that hits all three of them at the same time. Ooh, nice top left corner there for- oh, he's still in phase one, never mind. He's about to get excited. If you get a top left or top right corner for phase two, then you can really tack on some damage. I'm assuming Pool Float has some... a spare bottle. Eh. Maybe not. Maybe just, you know, doesn't need that much. That's silver, so... Should be should be through this fight. Into phase three already. Phase four. Oh, okay, there's the potion. That's fine. I don't remember... Did he buy one, or did he pick one up? Sam's still not too far behind. Every screen you get a new blind pun. Unskippable. Dear God. That reminds me, I, I still need to play... There's a there's an ancient dungeon. Um, or ancient cave version of this game that's out there that's been played. I haven't played it yet, but... I'd be curious to try it out. I like the one that Arnopoli made for uh, Z1. That one was fun. I need to get my grubby hands all over it. One more silver to put down the pig. That's gonna do it for Pool Float. Gonna finish with a time of 147 and some change. Nicely done. Get your GG's in chat for Pool Float. Sorry, Pool Float in parentheses unusable audio. That was that was the name that was submitted. I should make sure I should change that on the <laughs> Funny. Nicely done. All right. Good stuff. It was fun to watch. It's really fun for me, um, just watching how people route and comparing it to how I would do it, and then th make, thinking to myself like, hmm, maybe their way was better. Maybe there's just thinking out different ways to play the game is always fun. And then also bashing them for making mistakes. <laughs> ha ha ha. Give me your money. We'll float be zooming through these credits. Ooh, nice double there, despite the, the blue ball. Very good Agatou fight there from uh, Sam. Spin, 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 spin. I'll go ahead and get these uh, comments queued up as we watch Sam fight the gammon. As always, thanks again to everybody that participates in these asyncs, um, and especially those that uh, let me restream you, so thank you, thank you. Go, Sam, go! Hit him with your tempered sword! I'm sure the other sword is probably in Mimic Cave, or it's probably in Rando Room or at Ice Armos. Green Pendant Turnin. Is that enough? No, not enough.
good old hook shot coming in handy. Sip, sip, sip. Collection rate, 166 from Pool Club. Hmm, interesting. Phase four. It does have silvers. Watch out for that bat. There's one. Nice. Managed to stun Ganon before he got to the top of the room. That should be a double right here. Oh, except the bat got in the way. Oh, it didn't matter. Yay! That's another Ganon down. GG's to Sam. With a nice and comfy 150, 50, 6.92. Nosh. Hey, let's read their comments real quick. Sam said, heckin' faster. <laughs> of course. That's what I was thinking. Pool Float said, finally didn't get bit in the tuchus. I had to censor that word by beating Pod before I had all the keys. Overall, this was a decent seed, albeit with some jokes. This is me clapping. I'm clapping for them. I don't know how to clap. Lucas. Nice. Once again, GG's both runners. Thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, being on the restream. Thanks for letting me yell at you for the last almost two hours. And yeah, once again, be sure to go uh, support these two in any way you see fit. Even just a friendly hello can go a long way. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other finish times we had on here. We had a 207 from Matt, who says... Made a 50-50 gamble in pod, which blew up in my face. Due to a lack of small keys, I had a choice between big key chest and harmless Hellway, and chose wrong, because Hellway was holding Samaria, which led to the classic Ice Rod T-Rock. Yeah. I was surprised to see Samaria there, and that could definitely bite someone in the tukus. Sorry, man. It do be that way. Uh, we had Locke with a 148-47, who says, Hacked up. That was another censored word. Hacked up in ice, ran out of bombs twice, and it just threw me off. Didn't have the keys for any other chests and pods, so left Samaria there for a while. Eventually got and just said, F everything else, go to TR. Dang. It's a lot of Fs there. Lock. It's a good thing I didn't read those Fs out loud. And uh, finally, we have Dr. Earworm with a 130.57, an insane time, who says, I fully thought MCS stood for Map and Compass Shuffle. I was very confused when a TR small popped up in the overworld. Quick freak out. Quick change in my tracker. Moved on with the seed. Laugh out loud. Very good. Thank you, Dr. Earworm. I also love to laugh out loud. <laughs> 